My name is Brian Brenly. I'm an associate professor in the biology department here at Guilford College. This is my 13th year of teaching here. So we have a, a full spectrum of courses here in the, in the biology slash forensic science program. We have an introductory course which teaches students everything from uh, blood types and taking fingerprints up to our forensic chemistry that talks about explosive residue and analysis of explosive residue through DNA genetic analysis. But we also pull our crime scene house into many, many classes, things like blood stain and blood spatter analysis there. We've done um, cl classes for uh, our forensic science club where they'll set up uh, a mock crime scene and set it up so that students have to figure out exactly what happened there and then go back and see what the script was, what actually happened beforehand. So again, it's problem solving, it's learning to be observant, it's learning to sketch, it's learning to take uh, videography, still photos, and things like that. But we try and use the crime scene house in a variety of different ways. We run a clandestine grave recovery class called Forensic Anthropology, where at the end of the semester, the students will go out in a group, find the grave, excavate the grave, prepare a report on what they found in the grave, and everything culminates in that activity where they are out there. I love to see light bulbs going on in students' heads. I've got so many great forensics students that have come in the past. I think of students who have gone into um, law enforcement and have worked their way up through the ranks to become lieutenants and captains. More recently, I had a student who was hired at a major North Carolina city to be one of their forensic supervisors. And they're doing a tremendous job overseeing the forensic services unit from looking at our past successes, Guilford has educated students and will continue to educate students to go out and be a transformative change in their communities.